we finally made it welcome to my channel guys yep that's me the one and only she eat all bullet oh wow on the real guys i'm actually so excited to start this ah! i'm starting youtube i'm starting youtube but well, can we deep it can we actually deep it i'm starting youtube like me me she's super 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 excited i can't even put in words how excited I am. Majority of you probably subscribe to me from TikTok. So you've probably been seeing my TikTok videos, maybe my voiceovers. I don't know, maybe my get ready with me is, is what got you guys here. So I thought it was only right my first video be a little bit similar to my TikToks that kind of blew up, that kind of got you guys here. Do you know what I mean? So you guys know what you're in for. Do you get what I mean? All right, so boom. I said, do you know what? Let me do a makeup video for my first video. Whilst you lot get to know me. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? So yeah, guys, that's what's up. That's what's popping today. I've got my trusty makeup bag. I got my makeup bag here. Got some um, bottles of bottles. Am I stupid? I've got brushes. Yeah. All right. So without further ado, let's get it cracking. All right, guys, I'm ready. I'm prepared. Be prepared. I'm just going to give you guys a couple disclaimers whilst I put my gloves on. Disclaimer number one. In no way, shape, or form am I a makeup girl. All right, I'm not a makeup girl, so please, please hold your criticisms. I was gonna say to the end, but don't give it, don't give it at all. I don't need it. I don't want it. Thank you, thank you so very much. Disclaimer number two. I'm not gonna lie, I can't think of a disclaimer number two, but just knowing it, I'm not perfect. So please, please don't judge me. Just to further explain, hmm, my part of people, this part of the videos where I'm doing the voiceover, this is where I'm going to be answering the questions that you people gave to me. Yeah, I put something on my Instagram. I said, you know, you people ask me questions to get to know me. You people answered, you delivered. So I'm also going to deliver. I'm going to be answering your questions. Yeah, see you guys. Okay, so boom. The first thing I like to do to the brows in question is brush them. Brush it how you like. Me, I brush them up to the side, left, right, up, down. Wherever I feel like in it. And I use I use some wax to get them in the right place as well. So that's all I'm doing right here. And then we do the same to the other eyebrow. Get them in place. Oh, don't mind the edges. And that's another thing. You don't love to say, oh my God, your eyebrows are, your, your edges are touching your eyebrows. I don't give a damn. Trust me, I could care less. <laughs> and then the excess um, wax or whatever. Add it to the hair, add it to the hair, yeah, like so. Oh, and if you see me looking down or not, that's where my mirror is. So please don't come and shoot me. The first reason is because I was highly, heavily peer pressured by my friends. They said, What are you doing? Get up, get up, get off your bum, get off your stinking bum, and do something else, do something constructive. So I said, You know what? Why is TikTok the only place where I'm sharing my personality with you people? You people really deserve to know my personality. So I said, Does it? I'm gonna move to YouTube. Okay, so after we brush the eyebrows, what I do anyways, is I do light strokes to the end of my eyebrows because the end is where it's more, like, it's not as thick, should I say. The end is where it's not as thick. I just use the NYX micro brow, pen blah, blah, micro brow pencil in the shade Chocolat. <laughs> Bilingual babe, joking, it's chocolate. Yes, yeah, so I just do like so. Listen, you might not even be able to see it, but I know, okay? I know. So that's all the maras. The fact that I know is that all oh, you people should care about, boom. And maybe extend the brow just a tad and then to the front so that it doesn't look so blocky i just add literally if you makeup gurus have constructive tips heavy on the constructive tips don't be shy okay don't be shy let me know comments down below what you think i should do or how you what can help me to make my brows look you know somewhat presentable so a few years back i started a business and because of that i call myself ceo you know like ceo before women ceo yeah and bolu is part of my first name 
yes, I'm Nigerian, but no, my name is not Bolo Atife. So don't think Bolo is shot for Bolo Atife. It's shot for something else. Thanks, love you. And after that, I use my um, Elf Hydro Hydro and Camo Concealer on the back of my hand. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, my eyebrows and that are probably the thing that takes the most to do. Like my main face doesn't take that long at all. And again, when it comes to eyebrows, I really like the highlighted look. I feel like it just bangs for me for some reason. I don't know why, but you'll see at the end, innit? You'll see, you'll see at the end. You know the David O's song where he's saying, I want to low, I want to la la. I want to la la fear. That's why I see myself in 10 years. I see myself making money, worshipping the Lord. Everybody, oh, say amen. I see myself with a husband and a child. Mm, at least one or five. But more importantly, just doing what I love, doing what makes me happy. Mm? Whether that's still making YouTube videos, who knows where we're going to be in 10 years. But yeah, I want to be happy. That's it. Boom, so as you can see, I don't start all the way at the beginning because that's when I'm going to go in with my darker concealer. As I said, guys, I know I probably look crazy, but trust the process for real. Trust the process for real. Where the heck did I put that concealer? This question always, always cracked me up because if you don't know by now, where have you been? Hmm? Where have you been living? I am a Nigerian girl, yeah? I'm a Nigerian babe. I've said it plenty of time, I'll continue to say it. So if you hear me say I'm from Sri Lanka, just mm, close your ear. Okay, you heard me. Can I just say, did you guys see how smoothly this eye was? Do you have a favourite eyebrow? Because my um my right eyebrow is definitely my favourite eyebrow. I don't know why everything just works. It just works like clockwork. It works like butter. I like that a lot. I like it. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go to the top of our eyebrow and just do a line with the same concealer. We're going to blend it after, so don't judge me. <laughs> Thanks. Boom. We're going to go in with our darker concealer. And that is the deep chestnut in the same um alpha hydrate and camo concealer so just like before we get a bit put it on the back of our hand and then we get our brush i'm not gonna lie guys i don't actually know what brush this is it's the same one i did for my eyebrows i don't actually know the name of the brush but it's just a flat brush and it just looks like that look at me being an MUA. wow <laughs> that's your way to the podium shout out to that girl this is where we start at the beginning so I would just use that concealer and I'm gonna overlap it with the lighter concealer. This concealer is running out and this is what I use for majority of my face. So as you can see, I'm just overlapping it so I don't look too light and too crazy. Oh, not that light is crazy, but extra light on me would be crazy. What a beautiful question. I really like this question. And to be honest with you guys, at the moment, I've got to say Ayamashe is my fit. Wow, I could demolish a bow right now. But um, a close second has to be pounded yamon ogono soup. Ogono soup, soup, that's my thing. Yeah, I really like it. Oh, delicious gun. Oh, delicious giddy gun. And then we pretty much repeat the same thing to the top of the eyebrow. But this time we start a little closer and then we overlap. Boom! And then we're also going to use the Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Blondie. Yeah. Blondie, baby. Well, one random fact about me is that once at the age of five, yeah, that's right, I was a small girl. I was, I was just a child. I broke my leg at school. Yeah, I broke it. I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't lie down. I couldn't do anything. I was basically useless. <laughs> and I was hospital bound. They kept me in hospital for a long time. They even wanted to amputate my leg. But my mom said, now. <laughs> if you stress me, I block you. That's how I do my highbrow. Again, don't shoot, don't stab, don't shoot, don't bleed. But I don't use foundation anymore. The last time I used foundation was probably like a good year ago. What? We've been in a pandemonia. It's been over two years. <laughs> over two years since I've used foundation. I don't know. Like one day I just didn't use it. And I was like, you know what? I like this. So it's like, what's the point? Let me save 30 something pounds. And the primer that I'm using is the Revolution Hydrate Primer. I don't ever like how my makeup looks when I have primer on, by the way. Say what you like, but... I see a difference. My face, I don't think needs too much moisturizing because even though I have dry skin, I think I moisturize my face quite a lot. Can you people hear noise? Are these people joking or what? Can you not say I'm making a video for YouTube? Don't be stupid, idiots. 
let me tell you people something if you know me you know my love of afrobeats is strong i can talk about afrobeats for hours and hours and hours but coming in big at number five we've got ashake olola demi ashake i listen to him so much right now his music is just beautiful then at number four we've got lamy the goats period okay he's the goats number three we've got buju allah oh don't get me started with Buju. And number two, we got Big Wiz, of course. Like it's only right. And number one, the love of my life. Damini. Bona boy. Listen, I've got a story time coming about my interaction with Bona Boy. Bona Boy is number one. Using my number seven brush. Where's the brush from? Bolu. I don't know. I don't have a clue. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna try to find everything and put it in the description box below, but. I'm sorry guys, just bear with me. Using this brush, we just want to pat everything in place. Now, this is where the controversy starts. Back in the day, I used to be a beauty blender babe, okay? I used to really be a beauty blender, ben a beauty blender blending babe. Yeah, that used to be me. Then, TikTok said, dish the blenders. <laughs> ditch 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 the blender so i said you know what me so i'm ditching the blenders i'm not gonna lie like it used to work like the few times that i did my makeup and i did it like that it used to work but i don't know what happened i just i lost the sauce i lost the je ne sais quoi. i lost it so that's why i've gone back to using a beauty blender but no tell a lie i use both okay so this is where the magic happened now we go in with my beauty blender so you're going to see a few of them in the vlogs that I'm going to be posting next. But just to name a few, Aremi Atatas, I love my friends so much. But so we've got Rachel, Khadija, Emma and Malika, my beautiful girls. I love my girl. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I made this YouTube channel November of 2021 and it's April 2022. But I did not like, I didn't broadcast it. I didn't tell nobody. I was like, you know what? Let me not like try unless until I hit 10K on TikTok. Um, so I said, when I hit 10k on TikTok, I'll tell people about it and, you know, promote myself and da 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 So I hit 10k on TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh, it's here. But before that, I was like, I believe in myself. Do you know what I mean? I believe in my source. I believe that I would truly hit 10k. And not to say that that's not a huge, a huge, huge accomplishment. But, like, I just knew I was going to do it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let me record some videos beforehand. And that's probably one of the smartest things I've ever done because... Apart from this video, I have two more videos queued up. One is my, my maintenance for my holiday vlog. And the other one is the actual holiday vlog. I went um, on holiday with my girls. So I'm quite smart that I did that, Eli. Eli? Well, at the moment, and this point of my life, I'd say I'm quite passionate about, you know, doing my makeup. I like to do my makeup. I like to look cute. I like to look pretty. I also like to do my hair, wear nice clothes, you know, the normals. I don't really know if I'm actually contouring correctly or what, but this is what I do, guys. This is what I do, and this is what make it come together. What we're going to do is <laughs> you want to hold your lace just so that no product gets on your lace. And then at the side of your face, you just want to drag that down and around even i've seen quite some questionable makeup routines but i mind my business so mind your business mind your business sometimes i find it so weird or awkward to talk about myself but i'm gonna answer the question nevertheless the first quality i'd probably describe myself as is family oriented or oriented to, i can't speak and glitch but yeah i really love my family i my family is my wow i, I die for them you know what i mean also carrying on from that i think i'm also very loving i love ah i love hard once i love you you're in it for life and the third one like i don't i hear it a lot in it like not to be that guy but what can i say I, I can't help it if people tell me it all the time but i hear that i'm quite funny people you know when it comes to breaking the eyes a lot you know meeting new people or kiniko kiniko being funny really comes in handy because you just bust a joke and boom you're now friends <laughs> and boom that's the cons that's the contour all rubbed in, all done, all looking sweet and marvellous. I wouldn't really call it under eye. Wait, maybe it is under eye. But it just makes my under eye a bit brighter. And I just love it. Red flag. Killer Jebe, what's that? But no. You see, that's already one of my red flags. I can't take a lot of things seriously. It's really hard for me to be serious. Another red flag is that I also can't take compliments. Mm, I'm going to run. And thirdly, my reply time is whack. The next thing I wanted to talk about is my accents. Okay, not gonna lie, on TikTok, I haven't really gotten, I don't think I've gotten 
at all like any hate or whatever for doing my african accent or doing it drah. but what i'm gonna tell you people is sometimes i have a bit of an identity crisis it, sometimes the way i go into my nigerian accent it's like like huh like we'll be having a normal conversation and boom i just start talking like this and you know everything is making you people crack up and i actually can't help it i promise you if i knew why if i had a reason no i probably would have stopped let me not lie but if i knew why i would let you people know <laughs> like it's actually a part of me it's just second nature for me if anybody's ever like oh my gosh why are you talking like that what's wrong with you please this is me that's just who i am sure you guys i can't actually help it but i'm also not gonna lie the youtube videos that i pre-recorded i hadn't recorded a voiceover yet on tiktok so i didn't know that me being myself my personality with my accent or whatever i didn't know it was gonna be gonna be taken well but in my previous video you might hear me a couple times i keep saying previous video but i haven't uploaded yet the one i'm gonna upload that i pre-recorded you'll hear me go into american accent a lot and Omar, let me not lie to you, okay? The American accent, oh sweet, oh sweet. Even like now, I do the American accent quite a bit. Like, it's just what I do. I go into it whenever I like, how I like, what I like. Sorry if you guys feel like it's excessive in the next couple videos I post, I'm sorry. Like one time I was on my TikTok live with an American and she was like, oh my gosh, your accent is like, bro, my accent's bomb. Like she said herself, my accent's bomb. So no one can tell me otherwise. What the hell, I don't care. But I just don't want you guys to think, oh my gosh, like what is she doing? I just have an identity crisis, like that's it. Blend, 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 blend. This is the brightest concealer I've ever used in my life and that I'm ever gonna use in my life, guys, I promise. It's the number 30, but it's Maybelline Fit Me yeah so to name a few these are only the ones i can really very much remember but to name a few i've been to dubai i've been to germany i went to america i went to france i've been to belgium nigeria of course i've been to china and i've been to poland like some of these have been to see family some of these have been with my school or my college on a trip and others have just been for fun for example i went to poland for a wedding yeah yeah for a wedding i went to poland i went to china for a school trip can you imagine my school took us to china in year five how old are you in year five you're like 10 10 years old i went to china they were touching my coily hair and speaking to me in languages i, I couldn't understand but yeah that's just to name a few anyway sha now just to um set all my concealers and the liquid and everything that's been going on in my face i'm using my nyx matte finish concealer i like it to be matte now we just fan that out fan it out girl fan it out real technique blush bro i can't speak for the love of god i don't know how to explain it but it looks like that so it's got like a flat I don't know what you call that, a flat head? I don't know. That's what we're gonna use just to pat in our, um, what do you call this again? Powder. One thing about me, I'm a show person, okay? I'm a show over movie person. But the two shows, wow, the two shows that have me in a chokehold, I can probably tell you every single episode that these two shows have ever produced. The first one is Sister, 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 I got my whole world. I don't my whole time, hear my whole time. Sorry for that little um, music interlude. But the second, the second show has got to be The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm a Fresh Prince babe over my wife and kids. Sorry, shoot me dead. <laughs> i said what i said but yeah those two shows i love 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 i love them then i use my hd kabuki brush i got this from super drug i feel like it's a big brand but i just can't remember the brand and it looks like that i just love this brush and last but not least guys listen i've got a lot a lot of insecurities okay my teeth my hands a lot of things but believe me when i say i would actually not change them like there's nothing i've actually changed by myself for the mere reason that i'm too much of a big scaredy cat look in my whole life i've got one stinking piercing and they did that to me when i was a baby i don't remember it i'm too scared okay i'm just gonna deal with it at this point look how pink my lips look we're gonna add some blush so just one two pat pat and i use the revolution i don't know what the heck it's called but it's revolution something blusher reloaded in rose kiss I'm follow the line i used to go really overboard over overboard with the blush i've seen the light just to make it nice and rosy yeah i've run out of my favorite 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 lip liner and when i went to the shop they didn't have it are you crazy or what yeah, so now i'm just gonna use like an old eyebrow pencil i'll probably just get this from the hair shop it's in the color brown 
brown i'm just gonna use it to line my lips it's so so irritating oh these people don't have class they don't have manners my normal lip liner is the 321 kiko lip liner but i went to the store i went to westfield sorry we don't have it we ran out are you crazy are you stupid and you know what's crazy the woman was like no because obviously i couldn't see it in the little holder thing so i was like oh do you have the 321 lip liner pencil the woman said yeah yeah it's just in the drawer let me get it she went in the drawer she was looking for about a good five to ten minutes i said mm, this woman is a liar yeah liar yeah liar she turned around and she was like to me oh sorry it's sold out i like my top lip darker than my bottom lip like i want my bottom lip to be the main attraction i want that to be all the pink and the juiciness and the you know i think that's quite normal is it not much i don't know normally oh, i've run out of this as well only me would choose to do a makeup video when i've run out of nearly half my product i then go in with the nyx butter gloss this was my go-to lip gloss oh during lockdown this is my go-to lip gloss in the color creme brulee okay not bad not bad okay not bad, not bad. and then we just add a little bit to the top like that wow my mother gave birth to a cutie she did but when i don't have that one i use the kiko lip gloss hydro lip gloss in the color six i don't know how it's gonna work out today though so i normally just go over that a little bit just to get it just a tad bit pinker then i use my clear kiko lip gloss it's pink but it was clear once hi guys me again <laughs> just really quickly please 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 i just wanted to say to you people feel free to leave in the comment section any type of video that you'd like to see from me you know what do you want me to do you want me to do story time vlog whatever it is just let me know and i'll do it for you baby yeah that's it and guys guess what my makeup's is done my makeup's is done yeah baby yeah baby wow who's that is that me wow <laughs> my hair's pretty much done but i just might straighten it again a little bit yeah whilst i do that i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and just talk about how grateful i am for all you guys subscribing and that i hope you people will be continuing to subscribe and come with me on this journey because it's actually going to be lit and the only way is up for real for real the only way is up the biggest question that i've gotten once I started telling people about my YouTube is what can we expect from you? Like, what are you actually going to bring to the table that's not at the table already? And let me not even lie to you guys. I'm going to keep it 110% real. Don't shoot me dead if you see me do a video that's already trending, already popping, already... Do you know like that? One thing I can say and best believe is I'm always going to put my own little twist on anything. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm not going to lie, I kind of hate that question. Like, oh, what makes you different from everybody else? Don't worry about it. See it. <laughs> see it and then have chat for me yeah like that's all i can pretty much say right now believe in the process and i'm just gonna show you guys what i'm about yeah man i'm trying to make it out of the hood <laughs> i'm trying to really make it out of the ghetto <laughs> yeah, i'm also gonna be as transparent as possible as i possibly can i really will be because i, I want my hiding i've got nothing to hide from you so yeah guys this is the end of the video again thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so 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 much for clicking the video for subscribing for liking for commenting if you want to comment comment but don't forget to ring that notification bell so that when i drop my next vibe got a first class seat to the premiere of the new video because it's dropping real soon how do I end the video? See you later! <laughs>